records say that the apartment complex behind me is where the abuse happened that killed 18-month-old Aries Barros. His mother, now in custody, charged in that death. It's a shocker to me. I've never really heard any... I thought this place was a good place, but I guess not now knowing this. Just a toddler. Now, Aries Barros is dead, and police reports reveal the horrifying details. According to the report, Miranda Ravago says she rushed her son to the hospital after she found him unconscious in his crib last week. The report says doctors found several severe injuries. Those injuries included bruises around his face, a broken clavicle, a fracture in his skull, a brain bleed, and a trauma known as black brain, often caused by being shaken at a young age. According to the report, his mother told police she didn't know how he was hurt. It's so sad. It's just heartbreaking to see, to hear that on this complex because we just see each other outside and we smile and we talk hi hi. And we think everything is okay, but if this is happening on this complex. It's so sad. Aries was rushed to UNM Hospital where he died two days later. Police say his room smelled like vomit, and in his crib they found a sippy cup filled with spoiled milk and a blood-stained pillow. Police reports say eight people lived in the apartment, including four children. Ravago is being held in the Santa Fe County Jail on a $100,000 cash-only bond. Shelly, I reached out to the New Mexico Children, Youth, and Families Department to find out if they'd ever been called out to investigate this family or any of the children here. They say legally they can't give me any of that information, but they are aware of the incident and are investigating. Reporting live here in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.